Royal Crane has become infamous around the world for the tragedy that it's caused. And now it's back in the headlines after British law enforcers turned to Australian police in the hope of bringing charges against those involved. How a nurse was tricked into the Australian station two days. The call came in at 5.30 this morning. It's about as far from a proud moment for Australian radio as you can get. Oh, could I please speak to Kate, please, my granddaughter? Oh, yes, yeah, just hold on. Thank you. It is as well. It's the easiest prank call ever made. But as we all now know, the royal prank made by Austereo DJs Mel Gregg and Michael Christian ended in the saddest way possible, with the tragic suicide of the nurse who took the call, Jacintha Saldana. Both DJs were initially taken off the air after the hoax. And while Michael Christian has since come back to the airwaves and even controversially won an award, Mel Gregg has never returned. Not a minute that goes by that we don't think about her family and what they must be going through. Now, months after Britain's Crown prosecutors declared that no action would be taken against the DJs, Scotland Yard has asked Australian police to consider criminal charges against Sydney's Today FM and the prank DJs. I think probably the need to send it over here to Australia to the police is to satisfy the victim's family and to satisfy public opinion back in England. Australian police aren't commenting, except to say they will evaluate the request as per their usual processes. The move is the second new development in this story after it was revealed yesterday that Mel Gregg's lawyers have filed legal action against Southern Cross Austereo. The claim that her employer failed to provide a safe workplace. I think it is a strong case because a lot of the pranks that they'll carry on are very questionable. You know, you've got a radio station that's not only condoning that behaviour, but in fact encouraging it. If anything, these developments highlight how one ill-conceived phone call for the sake of a cheap laugh has led to one woman's death and potentially cost another her career. Isn't it only natural that...